no idea of where all of these things are going. Then, would you not blame the government of yesterday of bringing in a non-state actor to do what some would argue that the state actors aren't doing? I'm just playing the devil's advocate. It's not my thought. I'm just talking about how people would come to argue such a situation. A country like Nigeria is having a non-state actor, you know. Why do we need the uh, NSCDC? Why do we need the Navy? Why do we need the Air Force? And, and, and that's the point. Yes. If we had all of these our military parameters who are doing a lot, by all standards, we always appreciate them here on this channel, doing so much. But then when it comes to natural resources, some would say that some unscrupulous elements among them are conniving. You don't just steal crude and put it in the back in your backyard. They are not doing anything, so the military are not doing anything. Look, let me tell you something. And so bringing a non-state actor again, you're yes. saying it's wrong. Yes. So what does the government do? You see, government itself is non-challenged about security. Yes. Generally in, in, or securing the pipelines? Generally. In advanced countries, security is one of the topmost issues that they talk about when election is coming go to israel go to america go to canada go to france go to germany go to all these places if there is no security you can't talk of any other thing you can't even talk about investment you can't talk about bringing people to come and invest in your country when there is no security and in any event we've invited the military for a conference that we organized and we sent letters to them that they should come let us have a dialogue let us see how we can you know help our country because it is our country and we have no other place to run to let us sit down and discuss these security issues but guess what they failed to come okay all right the numbers are there on the screen Bumi. i got your message you're saying that they know waiting then they do well I Maybe when you call, you could tell us more about this one. What is going on? How, how does a country as big, as, as blessed as Nigeria, who still be grappling with poverty? I was listening to our radio this morning. Mm. And in case you're watching, listen to Rhythm FM all over the country, you get the best information and music at all times. And uh, my colleague was saying, look, at any point in time, when we say that some things are wrong within a country, mm. the first and foremost person that will perpetrate such an act will be a citizen of the country. You can have an accomplice of any other part of the world. Yeah. You can do any other thing. So it will be the citizen of the country first and foremost yeah. to give you a, a leeway into doing whatever you want to do. So mm -hmm. most times when we talk about the government, the leaders and all of that, what about us? Yes, I agree with you. What about us? Because, uh, you know, it, just look at uh, Chinese, for instance. China... Indians, they will come to the country and then they will tell you they come to invest and then before you know it, you are bringing workers and then you are telling them that they are, they are going to be casual workers. What you don't practice over there, you come to Nigeria and then you practice it. Is it not government that is supporting such act? Yes, I agree that individuals also, you know, uh, have a portion in this blame, but then, if government is not doing it, nobody will come out to do that rubbish. All right, you're talking about the need for government to employ someone as Tompolo, uh, that, uh, because they know that, I can't read this one out, that someone who does something will know how to prevent others from doing it. And those are not my words. I'd rather that you call in uh, than me reading this message at this point in time. So he's saying that, look, sometimes you have to have someone inside yeah. to be able to deal with someone outside. Yeah. Why? Because such person inside knows the terrain, knows how the person outside would think, and should be able to be proactive in nabbing all of these. The reason I'm bringing this to the fore is because, one, uh, oil still remains our mainstay of our economy, and a lot of people would wonder if this present administration has answers to ensuring that we maximize all our potentials. Let's put it at the budget. I'll come back to us so that we continue with that. Okay. Elder, good morning. Thanks for joining us on the program. Good morning, my sister. 
and they get in the field. And you see, when it comes to the issue of security, sometimes I find it very, very difficult to believe that we are where we are as it relates to security. For instance, now, if I say anything wrong about the government, they will trace me down to my house. But here we are. Kidnappers are having to keep the freedom. They use number to contact the relatives of people kidnapped. And yet, you can get in touch with these people. It's not about speaking grammar. Right? Some security situation in Nigeria is not a rocket science. We cannot learn and women we have and people that are bad in security that we have in this country. I mean, what do we do to solve this issue? And come to think of it, these people as not as many as the number of our young women. Mm. So it's stopping security from being a no retreat to the reality. We can no longer travel. We can go to our farms, things we need to do before. Of course, our security, we can no longer do that. And yet, security both is still expensive. Thank you so much, Elder. Thank you so much for your contribution. Uh, let's be with Uche, who joins us from Mabia State today. Good morning, Uche. Good morning, Good morning. Uche. They must be a sabotage. Sabotage will continue until states control their resources. Then they will own their resources. Everybody will put eye on what you know God has given to the state. But the way we are running the country, it's going to work. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Uche, for that contribution. David joins us from Meadow State this morning. Hello. How can we take our program to abroad and bring it back? That's not too bad. Why is it that? Uh, they think that it's like a position of the uh, night. But they will take our program to abroad and bring it back. They will start. No, no, I'm sure they will go to the front because of uh, banking. I agree with people in the front. But they banned the night because they are taking our program to abroad and bring it back. And what we know is that we do that. There are two can manufacture uh, local recovery. Why can't they go to the power and power me to produce a piece of tool? Okay. And they keep going with that type. So if we are not really happy in London, why is it that okay, only we have oil? Why is it that no more is supposed to do that? Nigeria is the only house where they produce the tool. Now, the speaker will be put it as we have to and bring it back to us and we buy it from that time. Thank you. Thank you so much. We have um, Mohammed joining us from Kerry State this morning. Okay, Hello. Uh, good morning, Mr. Governor. I commend you for all your efforts that you're doing. Thank you. I just want to ask you as only, please, what is the way forward? I've had you. You talked about the military, but you have forgotten about what the major constituency are in terms of security. That is the duty of the stuff. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mohammed. Please, our callers, we, we don't like to cut you off, but it's a one minute mark. Once it get, gets to that, the system may uh, remove you. It's not intentional. So please, let's keep within the one minute mark so that we can get as much uh, 
information out here and you can give other people the opportunity to contribute on the show. So our viewers have diverse views with regards to what's going on and how government can actually fix this because we all know what the problems are. We're looking for solutions, that are lasting solutions. That's what we all are looking forward to. Let me react to what Uche, one of the callers, said, that uh, states should control their resources. Yes, I agree with that. But then, is it the problem? No, absolutely. It's not. Look, you have Zamfara, where there is gold. Go and check out the activities of Chinese in that place. Hmm. You, you, you weep for Nigeria. And this is a, resources, a resource that, I mean, you can, you can, you know, put up so that uh, Nigerians can have jobs. But unfortunately, it's foreigners who are there mining it. I mean... So, is it, is it, is it, it's not even being, it, I'm sure Minister of Mines and Power, wh whoever is in charge of that... Mines, yeah. Mines is alone. Uh -huh. That's whoever is like in uh -huh. So, I'm sure they are not, they are not even bothered about that. You can't be sure. You, I am. You, you can't Look, be sure. Let me tell you something. I'm not speaking for him. Zamfara. I'm saying yes, that you may never know. That People can ask questions if they are aware. Talking that they do not that know. That they are not aware. You're saying that they're not aware of what's going on. Yes. And I'm saying it's not possible for anyone in the country, even those who are not led to so know if the they are aware, are going what on. have they done to, co to curtail now, that? Those are the things what have they done? Bring it. Yeah. What have they done? So uh, we have resources. I mean, Nigerians have no business with poverty. We have no business with poverty. We have no business traveling outside. In the 70s, when we were growing up, if our parents, our brothers and sisters, if they are going out for studies, we will be crying at right. home. Now, it's unfortunate that every house wants to push his or her daughter his son or her daughter to, you know, outside the country to just go and survive however you can. So unfortunate. Yeah, so unfortunate. I know that our viewers would rather that we continue on this uh, part, but then uh, that's how much we have on focus today. Don't forget that you can join us on our social media handles and bear your mind on what's going on. If you're watching and you're recording, whatever it is, please push it through to our Facebook um, we also have Instagram page X, formerly known as Twitter, so that we all can continue on this uh, path for us together, leaders, to do the needful, really listen and see how the world views us globally now as a people.